Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am super excited to go over this 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara. This is a brand new vehicle. It is stock number 24J353. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, puts out 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission, along with the electronic start-stop system. It's gonna get you 23 miles per gallon highway, 18 city for an average of 20 miles per gallon. Not bad for a full four-door Jeep Wrangler. And this is the Sahara model. We're gonna go all the way around here and we're gonna check out all the options. I'm gonna show you the window sticker and just give you the most accurate representation of this vehicle. All the 2024 Wranglers now have the um, smaller grille, uh, except the Sport. And they all have the LED headlamps, except the Sport. And you get LED fog lamps as well, running lights in the fenders and uh, they are very bright. We're gonna turn those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. The Sahara package is gonna give you the silver trim around the fog light bezels as well as the silver trim around the grill inserts there. This one does have the front trail cam. Matching fenders on this one, color match fenders. Also has the color match hard top. I believe the fenders are standard with the Sahara. You're gonna get painted and polished aluminum 18 inch wheels and it has Bridgestone Dueler HT tires. These are 255 70R18s. Four wheel disc brakes, of course, with all the Wranglers. And you get the new updated center caps for 2024. Also new for 2024, no more antenna. You get a trail rated badge there and that's because the antennas are now in the windshield. You still get the Jeep climbing up the side though and you still get the sandals on the plastic shroud there. You get these kind of silver, almost chrome um, Jeep and Sahara lettering. You get the T50 on the doors. You can take those doors off. We did a demo on how to take your doors off. Your JL, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Get the color match. Fenders in the back, the LED tail lamps in the back as well, also backup parking sensors. You get a receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring back here. You can get a, good look, get a good look at that tread pattern on those tires. Back storage area comes with the front hardtop piece case. Also has the Alpine premium sound in this one with the subwoofer. You got four bolts on each side of the hard top here and two quick disconnects to take this hard top off. We did a demo on how to take your JL hard top off, also linked in the description below and in the upper right hand part of the screen. One little Easter egg I don't see a lot of people talking about. There are seven slots on this back door as well. And the JL badge, of course, two door, four door with the wheelbase overall length and water fording as well as overall width and tire width. Those go down like that. These doors close really easily. Down the rest of the side of the vehicle. Looks really good. Take a quick look at the back seats. Now they call this black. I think it looks more dark charcoal, um, but it is the black cloth interior. Latch child safety system. Factory floor mats back here. You do get two USBs, two USB-Cs and 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in back here. Here are your window switches and two air vents. And these seats do fold down for extra storage. The other thing I like is that the headrests stay down for better visibility if nobody's riding back here and you can just put those headrests down with that lever right there. They did change the speakers in the ceiling. They also changed the map lights right here. And a second row. New for 2024 are side airbags up there, standard second and front row. That is new for 2024. Child safety locks on the back doors. Up front, you get that same quote unquote black cloth interior. 
with the kind of amber stitching on there. Has the driver's seat height adjuster, lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps. You get the new badge right there with the Wrangler and Gladiator back to back. Power locks, power mirrors. You get the stitching on the door with the leather handle there. Up front, we'll check out the information center. Key fob not detected. Let me grab that real quick. All right, you get the seven inch LCD display with the Sahara animation at the beginning there. Um, digital speedometer, you got compass display. You can put miles per gallon, miles to empty, uh, temperature, radio station. You can put all that different information in the corners there. I do really like the steering wheel. It has that black leather. They've changed kind of the leather on these steering wheels. I think they started that in 2023, but it's like a more soft touch leather. And you get that amber stitching on there as well. Looks really, really good. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. Cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls on the right. I believe adaptive cruise controls are now standard across the Wrangler um, world and trim options. Also new for 2024 is the Gorilla Glass is standard on all the trim levels except Sport. Comes with the Uconnect 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. This is a Uconnect 5 radio. It does have the factory navigation system in this one. There is Highway 41. AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, as well as Bluetooth, AUGS, and USB hookups. You get all your different apps on here, and we'll go through most of them. I'm not going to go into all of them, just kind of show you what is on here. I do want to go to the cameras here because those are pretty sweet and then we'll check off check the off-road pages so you get the front trail cam and as i turn that steering wheel you can see those yellow lines are kind of the future of where your wheels are going to be or your tires are going to be and um, they are dynamic so as i turn the steering wheel they change which is really cool and then the backup camera they made those hd as well so you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time and then the off-road pages they're really cool as well. You get the steering angle there. So as I turn the steering wheel, you can see that degree changes. And then if your transfer case is in two wheel drive, locked, unlocked. Um, so you can do that. You get your different accessory gauges, your pitch and roll, and again, your front camera, which is right there. Uh, other things that they changed, also latitude, longitude, and altitude. Other things that they changed, these vents are now kind of thin and underneath the radio where they used to have the like the circle ones were on the side of the radio. Now they're underneath. And then they just change this a little bit up here as well. Down here, your more tactile volume tune, climate controls, heated seat buttons, heated steering wheel controls, start stop capability, stability control, speed select crawl control, parking sensors, screen on or off, power windows, your towing, uh, system with the four auxiliary switches there, USB, AUGS, and USB-C, eight-speed automatic transmission, and your 4x4 shifter there. Keyless entry with the remote start, and of course, the flipper key on there, or the switchblade key, as they say. This one does have the cloth dash. I do prefer the leather dash, but nothing wrong with that. Looks good. And uh, you get the crushed eggshell finish to the inside of the hard top pieces. Assist and SOS buttons, auto dimming mirror, one little Easter egg again, seven slots up there. Jeep always has to like put the seven slots on there for the seven different continents that Jeep has been on. And if you look right here, which are kind of the uh, same thing. These are, I believe for your microphone, but seven of those slots there as well. Home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. Let's start it up and we'll take a look under the hood and then we'll check out all those LED lights with the um, lights off in the picture studio. So let's start it up here, take a quick peek under the hood. And then we'll, uh, after we do the lights, we'll take a look at the original window sticker. V6 is nice and quiet. Been around for a while. I believe 2013 was the first year of the Pentastar V6. Everything you need is in yellow. Runs really smooth. There's the emission sticker. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all the lights in here. We'll do a walk around with all the lights off so you can see just how bright these LED lights are on this Wrangler and how much of a difference they make. Give me one second here to turn the lights off. All right, you can see just how bright those lights are. Uh, definitely applaud Jeep for making those standard across all the trim levels and you can see just how bright and wide that they go and they, they get really wide because of the lights in the fenders. It definitely adds a nice width to your beam of light. And then the LED tail lamps are unmistakable, kind of that hourglass shape. LED lights and the license plate lights. Uh, let's go take a look at that original window sticker. All right, here's the original window sticker, 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara 4x4, black clear coat, interior color black, uh, cloth low back bucket seats, 3.6 liter V6 24 valve VVT engine with start stop, eight speed automatic transmission, Get the command track, part-time four-wheel drive system, everything on your left there is your standard equipment with the Sahara package. Optional equipment starts at the black exterior paint, which is $595, trailer tow and auxiliary switch group, $1195, which gives you the aux switches, the receiver hitch, seven pin and four pin wiring. The technology group gives is $2295, gives you the Alpine premium sound with the subwoofer. HD radio, factory navigation, connected travel and traffic services, the Uconnect 5 nav with the 12.3 touchscreen display, integrated voice, command, and integrated off-road camera. Safety group gives you blind spot and cross path detection, automatic high beam headlamp control, and park sense rear park assist system, which is $12.95. The V6 is a $2,000 upgrade over the turbo. The body color three-piece hardtop is $18.95. And the total MSRP on this one is $60,365 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this vehicle. In the upper right hand part screen is a link to our website, also linked in the description below to get your summit price with all of our incentives on it. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five years 60 powertrain. There are the miles per gallon 23 highway, 18 city, 20 average. And uh, there's the safety rating. It's not really rated much for the 2024 yet. But that's the whole vehicle. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like, subscribe, and share on YouTube. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and SUV walkarounds on YouTube, and stay current on our ever-changing and vast Wrangler inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to more of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to be offering this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara in black clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel if you did. And uh, until our next video, have a great day.